Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's great to be here and it's great to be recording a video after such a long period of time that I pretty much didn't record anything. I guess it was two, two and a half months. It's, it's the 29th of December right now that I'm recording this one of kind of a video and yeah, it's, it's a pretty long time of me actually being out. Um, if you didn't really, um, had the time to get back to like some of the content that I've been putting out, I actually recorded something like 66 episodes of podcasts. I'm going to pretty much relink part of that in the next sequence of videos that I'll probably record. And yeah, just wanted to kind of, kind of play with the mentality and everything else that I even described and uh, how, how to even start, like, like just pretty much been speaking about in the last few videos and uh, everything else that I did when I was pretty much traveling around the US. Uh, long story short, there have been a lot of things that have changed in my perceivement of reality and in, in like just pretty much the things that I've been doing. I'm going to be like the, the, this is, ju this should be that kind of like the introductory video to the next sequence of videos that I'll be probably posting within the next 24 to 48 hours. The reason for that is that I just like kind of made, made the decision and made the resolution. And I, I just had it as a goal just to record a certain amount of YouTube videos, but I didn't just had time to get back to it. And for that reason, like pretty much now, I have two days left until the end of the year, uh, until the fruition of like my goals, whether I did that and whether I actually like, put the effort in that I anticipated to put in or whether I just like screwed it up from a certain point of view, just being very open. Um, it, it's like I just, even even the the kind of the context of just the reason for me and, and the the whole way how I want to record these videos, maybe from now on, and, and like just everything else that I'm just posting. And it's more about like documenting my journey and everything else that I'm doing rather than just posting about results since I'm 22 years old. And there are many more other people who have way more results um, and might be able to provide you more actionable advice than I am. I'm just rather sharing everything that has worked for me so far. Uh, to give you maybe two cents about everything that has happened in the last two to three months, I came from Orlando. That that was, I guess, the time when I recorded the last video for you. Uh, pretty much got back to school and and after uh, like just rethinking everything, I just like got rid of eighty to eighty five percent of all of the things that I was doing. Um, really rethought the way how I approach school uh, because I approach school from a um, uh, maybe a different point of view. Uh, I just like was here to get the gist out of it. And uh, when you're doing something to get the gist out of it, you pretty much get understood returns. And I just really feel that I can, uh, again, screw this up in terms of how I, how this influenced my identity in terms of how I per perceive myself and the quality of work that I was putting out. So for that reason, the last, uh, since November or so, I just like that full full and plunge into school from the majority uh and i just like tried to work as much as human humanly possible and i just overshot many limits that i thought i had in terms of how much work i'm able to do and finish and just just how much stuff i'm able to create every single day um the la the least amount of work that i've done in a day throughout this whole period was like nine hour 45 minutes of pure work pre focus work and uh, and that was on the christmas eve other than that, my average that was averaging every single day was about 15 hours. Yesterday I hit 19. And just to give you my two cents on that, it's just like I realized that there is so much within us that we can essentially even think about, we can imagine and that we can accomplish with, with the resources that we have. And in the end, I just like, there are going to be many things that I essentially have in my mind. The, the whole... I'm going to group all of these videos under one, how do you, into one playlist where I'm going to be speaking about all of the like biggest takeaways that I have from the year 2023 and how do they tie up to actually my plans for the 20, 2024 in terms of rather me sharing actionable advice. I'm rather sharing with you the things that I essentially find out experimenting with what's working, what isn't working. I'm not the most perfect human being in the world, far from that. And yeah, there have been a lot of things that have happened and even in terms of how I perceive pleasure, achievement of goals, and what has even mattered for me the most in my life in terms of yeah, what I like or enjoy working at and just everything else. 
So with that being said, I'm going to cut this video here and you're going to be able to just probably um, click the next video in the playlist and just go video by video, maybe just to just browse throughout the topics that really interest you the most. And based on that, I guess you'll be able to achieve great results. But with that being said, this is just kind of like my accountability part that I just thought told myself like I would just share all, my, all of my knowledge or in 100 videos this, this year and it didn't came into fruition because I was just so cluttered with all the other stuff. I was working on just busting my ass off there and now it looks like I have a bit more time on my hands just to reflect on the whole year. And I kind of like still had this year though. Anyway, I was like just always working on all the other stuff and there was all, always this, this, this kind of like snippet of or like this column on my to-do list that I just really need to do, need to do, or had to do this. And for that reason, I just I know that now is the time to actually get into work. And even though we don't have that much time left the, until the end of the year, that doesn't change anything. It's just like, this is the warp week, warp week. I recorded a video why I called the last week of the year, the warp week. And if you have any things that you'd like to start, just start working on, on, on them and start chipping away the, the amount of work that needs to be done the last week. Um, before the end of the year, just, just don't wait until, until the new year starts, because then you're going to have very hard, hard time starting to actually get it, get working on the, on the things that you want to accomplish. So with that being said, I'm going to cut this video here and I'm going to catch you in the next one.